Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today I am filling up my cistern. This is something I had from the first homestead. It's gonna to go to the second homestead, but temporarily I'm setting it up here at Normal House. So that we can have access to water and things like that during a blackout or something like that, like that happens. The neighbors in the area have suggested that blackouts are something that happen fairly frequently on this road. It's pretty remote and there's not that many people on the street. So we're kind of the last to get repaired. So I want to be able to have access to water if the power goes out. That's one of the more important things I think to have access to, you know, in addition to the idea of just being able to drink the water, it also makes it easier to just keep yourself clean, hygienic, you don't get like a rash from not being able to bathe or anything. I don't think we'd be taking showers in the middle of a blackout, but at least having easy access to some water that you can use to, to wipe off and everything like that can make your life a lot, lot, lot better. So I'm about to fill this thing up, but it's been empty for a while and I don't know what might have gotten into it. So I'm going to give it a decontaminating pass with some bleach. Uh, the uh, kind of consensus on how much bleach you should put uh, per you know gallon of water is about one teaspoon per gallon of water. This thing is about 150 uh, gallons of water that I'm going to have in here. So I did the math and well, I, Google did the math. Uh, I did a conversion um, and. Uh, uh, it suggested that it's five fluid ounces of water. I, first, I asked how many cups it was. I needed 30 teaspoons to fill this thing up, and uh, 30 teaspoons came out to 0. 0.6 something something cups. And I was like, I don't want to try to figure that out on the side of this thing. How many fluid ounces? And it came out to exactly five fluid ounces. So I've got this measuring cup and this bleach. The type of bleach that I'm using is sodium hypochlorite based. Let me check that. Yep, sodium hypochlorite base, that's important. Uh, you also want to have a bleach that doesn't have a bunch of perfumes and additives in, in it. Uh, you just want to have basic pure bleach. So, you know, somewhere in the, uh, what's the concentration these things usually come at? You'd think I do this homework before I start the video. Um, they're usually about like, was it 0.8 or something like that? It doesn't say on here. Oh yeah, 8%, 8% uh, concentration in this. Uh, they're usually between five and 8%. So I'm going to take this, Put it in here, five fluid ounces. I'm not a big fan of the smell of bleach. I know some people like it, I don't like it. So here we got on the side of the measuring cup, five fluid ounces is here. I'm gonna fill it up. Well, not fill it up, fill it to five fluid ounces. There we go. That's a little bit much, but uh, this tank is actually a little bigger than 150 gallons, so that's no big deal. So take this, drop it right into the top here. And that's it. Now I'm going to finish filling this thing up. That'll agitate it around, uh, swirl it all around. Now the, uh, whew, I don't like the smell of bleach. <laughs> now the water that's going to be coming, oh, it smells like a pool in here. You know, like a public pool. We all know that smell. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the water that's going to be coming out of here is going to have that smell. So I'm not going to be using this water, you know, for drinking or cooking for a little bit because it's going to have that kind of really strong chlorine kind of smell. So I've, I've planned, I've got a load of laundry ready to go. That'll use up a bunch of this, uh, you know, you know, showering, things like that, uh, you know, run through this water. And then, you know, I'll know that I have a clean tank and I can fill it up with, you know, water that doesn't have a bleach smell to it. So that's really it. About one teaspoon to one gallon of water. And that's, uh, then you're good to go. I mean, obviously bleach is not going to get rid of chemical contaminants or anything like that. If you got that, you got a whole different mess to deal with. But in terms of biological life, that's the, the rough, uh, uh, ratio. One teaspoon to one gallon. Remember, teaspoon, not tablespoon. Teaspoons are the small ones. Uh, you know, if you put a tablespoon, it probably, it, a tablespoon is about three teaspoons. It, it probably wouldn't be a huge deal, but I mean, bleach is a poison, so you want to try to minimize as best you can. That's it. One teaspoon to one gallon, and you're good to go as long as it's only biological that you're talking about. And it doesn't even kill all the biological ones, but it's a, it's a starting place anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.